Welcome back to Hopline. Today I'm going to talk about a common mistake in dog starting and how to avoid it. <laughs> Today I'm going to talk about a common mistake in dog starting. It only occurs for people who are jump starting, so not so much on a running start, they are better off. But it happened to myself, I've seen a lot of people jumping on the board and crashing instantly and this is why. Like I said before, it's always good to film yourself so I had some footage of myself and I could go back, look at it and analyze what's actually going wrong. So when you're jump starting it's really hard to see your foil because when you're looking down you're looking at your ball, not your foil. So a common mistake in jumping on the board and pushing the board forward during the start is not giving enough movement to the foil. So let's get a foil. This is the part we don't see when we're jumping on the foil and what we want to achieve is a steady and straight movement. But what happens to some people, and it happened to me as well, is a circular motion, like, like a clock. And this is exactly what you don't want. So let me show you this in a simple graphic. So while we are dock starting, we're pushing the board forward. We're gaining speed, we're gaining lift, and we're jumping on the board. But sometimes it happens that the board is moving, but the foil is not. So we're pushing the board forward, and for us it looks like it's gaining speed and the foil as well, but it's actually not. The foil is only turning like a clock. So we can't really tell the difference from above because we're watching the board, not the foil. But the foil is not generating speed and therefore not generating lift. I did a lot of tries and some went good, sometimes I did at the beginning, I did 5 meters or 10 meters and some were just an instant crash and I didn't know why. So a foil is like an airplane underwater. With more density in the water we're getting more lift at lower speed. But at some point my foil just started to stall instantly. So I was just falling through the water, it felt like there was no lift at all. And this all comes down to the foil not being in motion, not having speed, not generating lift. Instead, it was just turning like a clock. So this is something you want to take care of. If you're pushing your board, you not only want to gain speed with the board, but speed with your foil. So the way this works best for me is actually putting a little bit more pressure on my backhand while pushing the board. If I put too much force on my front head, I'm pushing the board down, leading into this circular motion with an instant crash. So putting more pressure on your backhand will actually push the board, not so much that it's facing upward, in the best case scenario more or less parallel to the water surface, but just slightly so you can feel that the foil is moving, not only the board. Always think of your foil like an aircraft. You're taking off, you need speed, in water you need much less speed for takeoff, but you still need speed and lift. If there's no speed, no motion, no lift, you're gonna crash. This is not so much a problem on a running start, because you're having more speed overall. You're running, this is motion, this is speed and creating lift. But if you're starting from a dock and you're jumping on the foil, which is more or less a dead start, you need that energy and you need that energy straight. You need a motion in the foil. If you don't have it, you're gonna stall, you're gonna crash. So going from a circular motion into a straight forward motion was the key for a successful dock start. Think about it. Understand what you're doing. Understand what your foil is doing. The physics behind what's happening. Keep an eye on it. Take your friends, go out, have fun. That's what it's all about. So that's it for today. I hope to see you soon on this channel again. Take care, have fun, bye. Yeah.